So today let's solve this problem. Read code number 303. Range some query immutable. Let's read the question. Given an integer array nums, it handles multiple queries of the following type. Calcul calculate the sum of the elements of nums between indices left and right, inclusive where left equal to less than or equal to right. So implement the array nums. So you're given an integer and uh, you are given a queries. So you need to sum up the elements between from left to the right, including those elements. See, if you can see the example, this is the array and uh, the, these are the queries. So 0 to 2 means you have to add from minus 2, 0, 3. So 2 to 5 is uh, 3, minus 5, minus 2, minus 1. You have to add uh, uh, the elements in between those ranges. Let's see how to solve. Let's see how we can solve this problem. So you have a array nums minus two, zero, three, minus five, two, minus one. So the first query is zero, comma two. So zero is the left one, and the two is the right number. So if we look into the array, you can see minus two, zero, three are false under in between zero to two. So we need to sum up those elements minus two plus zero plus three equal to one. And then next query is 2 to 5. If we check it in the array, then it is a 3 minus 5, 2 minus 1. So if we add up, if we add all those elements, we got the minus 1. So coming to the time complexity, every time for every query we have to traverse uh, from left to right. So there are m queries and uh, n elements to traverse. So the time complexity is m into n. It's a very time consuming and slow process. For every sub query, we have to traverse again and again. So can we do better? Yes, we can do it with the help of prefix sum concept. So now I will explain the prefix sum concept. So, so first if we take the original array, let's take the original array minus 2, 0, 3, minus 5, 2, minus 1. So first uh, we will uh, same, we will keep the same element in the first position minus 2. Then we take that number minus 2 and add it to the next element. So the minus 2 plus 0, then it becomes some minus 2 again. Then from my again, take that updated minus 2 and add it to the next element and replace that next element with the updated value minus 2 plus 3 plus 1. Just update it again 1 plus minus 5 minus 4. Update it in the next position like that minus 4 plus 2 minus 2. Again, next minus 2 plus minus 1 minus 3. Yeah, now we got the prefix sum array. Just we traverse the entire array only once. Now, can we uh, do that queries in constant time with the help of this prefix sum? Yes, we can do it. Let's take uh, some examples. Like the first query is 0, 2. 0 is the left one and 2 is the right. Uh, and you can see here I high highlighted the number 1, 0 second position in the array. So that's the answer for 0 to 2. See, if the left num the left value in the query is 0, then the result is nums of right because till 2 we added the all numbers. So the second position contains the summation of 0 to 2. So that's the technique behind this prefix sum. Let's take a one more uh, query, 2 comma 5. Uh, if we highlight the 2 comma 5 points, then these are the points 1 comma and minus 3. If we want the sum of these in between these elements, now let's see the condition. If the left is not equal to 0. Yes, it is not 0. It is actually 2. Then the result is nums of right minus nums of left minus 1. So basically you are taking the fifth position element. That is the summation of uh, from 0 to 5. And then we are removing we are removing some we are removing some x value from that uh, nums right. So why we are doing is we already we need in between 2 to 5 but we have taken in between in between 0 to 1 in the summation of 5 so we need to remove that that's why we take nums of 5 minus nums of 1 that means minus 3 mi minus minus 2 that's the minus 1 answer so the time complexity for this solution is of n times yes you need to traverse entire array once and you need to make a prefix sum array by using that prefix sum, you can do every sub query, every sum, I mean every query, you can do it in O of one time. Now let's write the code for this problem. Now first we will write the code in Python, then we will write the code in Java also. First self dot nums equal to nums 
as temporary variable s equal to 0 for a i in range 0 comma length of nums then we need to create a prefix array so we are starting from 0 to and length of nums that means uh, if the number of lines is 5 then 0 1 2 3 4 so first element we it have to keep it as the same element so just adding nums of 5 plus equal to s just first the element s is i mean the variable s is 0 we are adding it to the first element in the array initially so it it won't change so the next we need to update the s variable nums of i then again next element when the it added the previous element and it creates the entire prefix sum so now we created the prefix sum so just add here self dot nums self dot nums self dot nums then now we need to write the code for the queries if left equal to 0 then return self dot nums right else return self dot nums of right minus nums of left minus 1 now let's run this code Sorry here self dot mm. now let's submit done now we will write the code in java also initializing nums int s equal to 0 you don't you don't need to use this uh, extra variable you can do it uh, in, you can do it directly uh, you can malplate that nums array directly you don't need to use this variable just you need to uh, think of with a different logic i mean this is the most simplest one int i equal to 0 i less than num stock length i plus plus length of i plus equal to s is equal to num of i uh, this dot nums equal to nums now we created the prefix array now just write we will write the code for the query getting results from that function left equal to 0 turn nums of right else return nums of right minus nums of left minus 1 done thank you for watching